Nitin and today in this PSLE 2019 Paper 2 question series, I'll be going through question 1. In my channel, I aim to help all of you master all those concepts out there, okay? So let's jump straight into question 1. Okay, this is question 1 over here and this question is testing us on factors and multiples, okay? So, for part A, the question is asking us to write down the first common multiple of 4 and 10. So, they are asking us to write down the first, the number 1, okay, common multiple between 4 and 10, okay? So, in order to do this, we need to list down the multiples of 4 and 10. So, let's list down the multiples of 4 first. So, the multiples of 4 is basically 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32, 36, and 40. After that, the multiples of 10 is 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, and 100. Okay, so the first common multiple is basically the first number between both of these that we see is the same. So let's take a look. So that is, that is 4 and 10, 8, and 20, 12, and 30, 16, 40, 20. Okay, wait. So, we can see this, right? So, between these two, there's, tw there's two 20s, right? So, actually, 20 is the first common multiple. Okay, followed by the second common multiple is 40. Okay? So, this is basically common multiples, but they only ask us for the first common multiple. So, actually, 40 is the wrong answer here. So the answer should be 20. Okay? So 20 is the answer for part A. So now let's move on to part B. So write down all the common factors of 18 and 81. Okay? So they are telling us to write down all the common factors between 18 and 81. So in this case, what we need to do is write down the factors of 18 and 81 first. So for part B, we need to First, I'm going to list down the factors of 18 and 18, okay? So, what you might be thinking that this line refers to is actually the times, okay? So, this line actually refers to the times. So, factors of 18. So, 1 times 18 is equal to 18. So, 1 and 18 are factors of 18. After that, 2 times 9 is equal to 18. So, 2 and 9 are factors of 18. 3 times 6 is equal to 18 as well, so 3 and 6 are factors of 18. Now we move on to listing down the factors of 81. So 81, so like I said, this line represents the times, okay? So 1 times 81 is equal to 81, so 1 and 81 are factors of 81. 3 times 27 is equal to 81. So 3 and 27 are factors of 81. 9 times 9 or 9 squared is equal to 81. So 9 is a factor of 81. Okay, so uh, I didn't repeat 9 two times because they are the same number. Okay, so when we are listing down for 18, right? So factors of 18 is basically 1, 2, 3, 6, 9, 18. So how you must list it down is from here. Okay, from this point, you go down and then you come to the this point over here and then you go up again. Okay, so this is how you list down. Okay, for 81, it's a special case whereby we just need to write one line. So 1, 3, 9, we don't need to write another line because it's the same number, 27 and 81. So this is how you write it now. Okay, after that, you must find common factors. So what is common? 1 is common between both of them. Okay. Is two common? No, three is common. Yes, three. Three is common, and there's a nine which is common. So that's this line. Okay. So let me write it down here. One, one, three, and nine. So one, three, and nine are common. So all the common factors of eighteen and eighty-one is one, three, and nine. So this is the answer for part B. Okay, so I hope you understood my explanation for this question, question 1, for part A and part B, and I hope you understand it, and thank you, and bye-bye. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!